I was a very sporty child and from a young age I'd always dreamed of playing for my country at sport. And when I was about 12, I was mad on team sports, so hockey, netball. I played a lot of tennis as well. I was even national under 11 table tennis champion. So I was kind of an all round ball games player until I was about 12 and a half and I was actually handed a javelin to take home over the school Easter holidays. And I practiced in the garden in, in local fields and went back to school and won the county championships. And that was really the start of my athletics career. The moment where I realised, you know, I, I think I could be pretty good at this was when I was 15 and it was the day before my English GCSE and I, I threw about a six metre PB at, at Loughborough and I think jumped to about second in the world as an under 17 and that was the moment that I, I kind of knew that, that I wanted to compete at an Olympic Games or certainly at a Commonwealth Games which was um, about four years later. I think my proudest moment as an athlete was actually at Beijing in 2008, throwing the furthest I'd ever thrown in my life, a, a personal best. I'm very proud in that I performed in the way I wanted to, and it was almost a textbook performance, really. And, and, you know, you are very angry about somebody cheating because, you know, I did do such a good performance on the day that really should have been rewarded with a medal and not not just for me but for my coaches my friends and family who'd been part of that whole journey it's it's always a medal that you'd win for more than just yourself I was you know really devastated that I hadn't won that really tangible thing when my performance was pretty much everything that we'd dreamed of doing so it's a shame because it really detracted from what should have been an absolutely you know amazing moment for, for me and my coach, which, which is something that you'll you know, never get back. You always dream of being an Olympic medalist and the medal itself is one thing, but being able to call yourself an Olympic medalist is the, the proudest part of my career for sure. But you know, I would have just wished I'd been able to stand on the rostrum at the time because I do believe it would have changed the course of my career at that time.